Hey guys, how can blah? <laughs> Let's try again. Hello guys and welcome back to another video from Ling Ling. Ling Ling is back. Yes, I have no introduction anymore because I'm used to making the vlogs now, so I don't remember what I said before. And I can't say vlog because this is obviously not a vlog because I'm just talking to you guys like this. So yeah, I need to work on that one. Sorry for that. I hope it's not too confusing. Anyway, um, let's get started. Today I want to make a book review for this book and this book. Yay! I hope you are excited because I am very much. So without further ado, let's get started. Yeah. The first book I want to talk about is called Crazy Rich Asian by Kevin Kwan. Um, yeah, he is a Singaporean born um, author based in America. And how did I bump into this book? Hmm. I don't know actually, I think I was uh, following, or I was reading some posts, some book reviews on my friend uh, Jocelyn's website called Speaking of China, really really interesting website about her life in China and like marriage with a Chinese man and etc etc. Anyway, she's doing book reviews once in a while so I think I just stumbled upon it and I was like oh that sounds interesting so I bought it on Amazon and uh, yeah I don't have it here in an uh, like I can't show you I can only show you a picture because um, the book is actually in Denmark so I didn't bring it to China so I had to buy it online again but I bought an online version cheaper of course uh, so yeah I don't have it in my hands here. I'm sorry for that. I hope that's okay. Anyway, so Crazy Rich Asian basically is about a girl called Rachel and she is totally crazy in love with her Chinese, no not Chinese, Chinese heritage boyfriend. He's uh, born and raised in Singapore and then they're both working in New York. So that's where they meet. And then one day he wants her to go to Singapore to visit him and his family for summer vacation. And yeah, something crazy is just happening. Like she arrives there and she discovers, oh my God, he's like super rich and everyone around him are is a super rich and yeah, they just bump into tons of different problems and then you follow different stories from the people around him in this Singaporean rich society. It's so interesting. In the beginning, I was like so confused, so many different characters, but when you get to know them, you're just like, oh my God, I need more and more and more. I need to read more. <laughs> so of course, after finishing the first book, I was so eager to get started on the second book, which is called and I just sec I just checked the second title. It's called China Rich Girlfriend. Um, so yeah. Anyway, I bought the second book, also online version. That's why I can just show you the picture here. Um, and I read it, and it literally took me less than two weeks. And I'm like super busy right now, so I have no idea how I managed that. But because it's just such a great book, and because I already knew the characters from the first book, you know, so I felt like I was already on great terms with everyone. Like. I knew who they were and I was not really confused when I started I was you know just um, continuing the story or my how to say like continuing my journey with these characters uh, and then you get introduced to a few more but still and like there is so much drama it's amazing it's uh, wow yeah it's just two really really good books the second book is where when uh, Rachel and uh, her husband, uh, no, not her husband, her boyfriend, Nick, uh, the Singaporean guy, his, uh, his name is Nick, so uh, Rachel and Nick are gonna get married and Nick is not talking to his parents anymore because of problems from the first book and everything goes wrong to the wedding and then they go back to Singapore and they go to China for summer vacation because of some other problems and it turns into even more disasters and oh my god i was just on my toes during the whole book i was just like ah, i need to know what's going on what's gonna happen and the end was horrible because it was open you know oh damn it i was just like no 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 you can't leave me here when i finished the last page page 
I was literally like crying out. I was like, no, you cannot leave me hang here. Like, no, <laughs> you cannot tell me what is gonna happen with these people. Uh, so I really, really hope that he's gonna make number three. If not, I'll be very sad <laughs> because there are a lot of loose ends. And uh, I, I know that I'm a storyteller, but when I read a book, I really want to know what's gonna happen and I don't want to make my own uh, endings anyway. <laughs> yeah, lazy me, I know, I know. Anyway, it's just great entertainment, those two books. Like, I just had to share it with you guys if you want to know more about, like, contemporary Singaporean society and Chinese society the second book obviously is mostly um, focusing on China and the rich people in China the Fu Er Dai, Fu Er Dai the second generation rich young people in China which is very much a thing and when I read it I recognize not a lot of things that I see here so you get a great introduction to contemporary Chinese society which I think is amazing like it's entertainment and you also learn something maybe not learn that much <laughs> you learn a lot of very expensive brands you get to know a lot of expensive brands but anyway it's just two really really lovely books you should definitely go and check them out and the greatest part is that uh, Kevin Kwan announced on his Facebook that they're gonna make a movie out of his book and the cast is only going to be Asian people, uh, Asian American actors. I don't know how much you know about this, but there's been a lot of discussions about uh, whitewashing in Hollywood and how American, uh, American white actors, they play uh, Asian actors or Asian characters in the movies instead of uh, hiring Asian actors uh, so yeah I think that's amazing it's gonna be so interesting interesting to see how they do this um, it seems like the producer or director something is also going to be is also Asian American so you should follow Kevin Kwan on his Facebook so you can check out uh, when that's gonna go live as well I'm so excited for this to happen it's really really interesting to uh, to see how they're gonna make this and see if they're gonna Americanize it just like they do with so many other things you should check out these two books I'm gonna leave links uh, below for the Amazon page um, go and find it either by the new version or by uh, the second hand like I love them Amazon because they have second hand as well so you don't have to spend all of your hard-earned money on this thing but yeah, it's definitely worth uh, to go there and have a look. So that was all for this video today. I hope you enjoyed my little book review here. It's the first time I'm doing a book review. I don't know. Uh, if you guys would like to, please let me know if you guys would like to see more of these book reviews please let me know in the comments below i have a lot of chinese books i want to review uh, i'm going to start reading a new one just about now because you know that the wi-fi here is very um emotional <laughs> you might say so i use that to um you know um spend my time when wi-fi is off or too slow to do anything about it because if you get angry every time you're gonna get angry a lot and that would be a waste of your time so anyway i hope you guys are having a great day or evening wherever you are and i'll see you again very soon see ya and bye bye